Well, hello and welcome to this latest video. In this video, we're going to look at setting up NetBeans. We've installed it, now we need to look at plugins and setting up the various options. Okay, so this is going to take probably three or four parts uh, to go through everything because uh, it will take a little bit of time. Um, but before we start, I thought you might be interested in seeing something. So, here we have NetBeans 8.2 on the left hand side, and on the right hand side we've got NetBeans uh, 9.0. There is basically no difference between them apart from the splash screen. Now I know you can see the menu is different. Well this is because in NetBeans 9.0 I have downloaded the all um, version and I've installed various plugins and changed the options. In NetBeans IDE 8.2 it's exactly as we left it at the end of the install program I haven't done any work on it whatsoever so this is basically how it comes so I'm going to close 9 and we're going to look at 8.2 now very quickly one of the things I noticed was that um, the NetBeans conf file actually points the JDK home directory to NetBeans 8.2 bin JRE. Now that is a problem. We don't want the Java runtime, right? We runtime environment. We actually want the JDK. So what I've done is I've commented out the runtime. And I've actually pointed, oops, there shouldn't be one of those at the end. And I've actually pointed uh, the JDK home to my open uh, JDK folder. So in theory, this will work. Uh, in practice, well, we'll see. Uh, if it doesn't work, then what I'll do is I'll unzip the um, Oracle JDK. And pointed at that. So first of all let's see what we can do. Now if you remember this version has just the HTML and PHP. Okay as you can see we've opened it up and there are 19 updates. So I, rec I, I recommend you actually install the updates straight away. So all you have to do is in the updates window is click on update click on next now it will download the updates and then it will install them this might take a moment so we'll stop and start okay so click continue and you now need to restart the NetBeans IDE which we will do Okay, that's restarted, so we'll click on Install Plugins. Now the big question is, which plugins should you actually install? And the answer is, uh, there isn't really a definitive answer. So the first thing is to come to Available Plugins and click on Name. Okay? So it's actually in alphabetical order by name. Now I recommend that you install the C++. This is because occasionally it has to recompile and for some reason it actually uses the C++ compiler to do that. Okay, the next thing I recommend that you um, install is the color codes preview. So when you actually selected a color and it's showing you the hexadecimal code it'll actually show you the color as well it'll give you a color block so you know what that hexadecimal code is okay next if you click on category and I like the status line clock the status line memory and the caps lock notifier okay so those are three that I normally install. Again, it's your choice. 
um, what to do. Uh, there's a restart IDE. This isn't really necessary um, because it, you'll always get the opportunity to restart the IDE. Okay, coming down, we'll have a look at what's in here. Uh, none of those I don't think are needed for what we require. Okay, in the editing side, again, you could do the JSON navigator if you wish. Um, it is possible that we'll be using some JSON files later. Okay. Um, come down further. Now, emit is very important. I strongly recommend that you actually install emit. Although um, NetBeans comes with an auto completion system, Emmet is probably a lot better and you get used to using Emmet because you'll probably use it in Atom or Visual Studio Code. I seem to have got a cold from somewhere, unfortunately, I do apologize, uh, and that type of thing. Okay, um, right, we need to come down further and there doesn't seem to be anything just there nothing in Java or JavaScript nothing in Java okay language support ah markdown support now you will be writing um, some files using Markdown, especially files that go onto GitHub. So I recommend that you put that in. Okay, uh, Maven, it's possible, but probably not for now. That's something that we can actually do later. Okay, PHP um, CS Fixer. Now, what this does is make sure that the code you write is uh, following certain rules and regulations as to um, how it looks and how it's spaced and things like this. Um, it's your choice whether or not you want to install it. I shall install it. The next one, PHP Enhancement, very important. You need to install that, okay, as it really does help. Uh, the PHP WordPress blog, if you're going to develop at all for WordPress, then you need that. I do do some WordPress work on that. Okay, let's have a look. Come down. We probably don't need the load generator. Just have a look. Paste a new file. That's your choice if you wish. Uh, it's not something that I actually use. Git ignore. I usually just put it in myself, so I can't see why we would do it. ESLint. Now that is actually one thing that is uh, a good idea because um, this means that your JavaScript will be uh, corrected for you. Uh, any JavaScript that you do, and I would also recommend the Git toolbar. Okay. Um, again, this is optional because there are other ways of um, actually um, getting to Git. And then finally, JS Hint. Now, I'll put this list um, in the notes below so you'll be able to see it and, and see which ones. Okay, so again, very easily, easy, just click install, click next accept and install okay so that's downloaded so click continue and you need to restart the IDE okay the IDE has restarted we've got our new plugins and you can see them on the top here okay one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to reduce the size of the icons here because they're a bit big. But that's the plugins done. There is one more plugin which I haven't actually installed, 
So we'll do that now. And if we go to plugins, click on available plugins, and then type in PHP into the search box. Okay. What we want, okay, is not listed. So we're going to have to download the file from the uh, old NetBeans site. So I've just started Chrome. Okay, so it's netbeans.org. Click on plugins. Okay, come down to name and type in PHP manual search. Okay, there's usually two listed, there are, and the one you want is the SALC one. As you can see, it's for virtually all of the different types of NetBeans. Okay, so click on the link and then click on download okay it's now downloaded so we'll close come to downloaded in NetBeans and click on add plugins you'll need to navigate to your download directory and you can see it's here so click on it, click OK, and click Install at the bottom. You can get the details here. OK. So follow the normal procedure. Click on Finish. OK, click on close. It's here at the end. It's just appeared. OK, and I'll explain what that does a bit later on when we actually start on PHP, but it is very useful. OK, please don't forget to um, like and subscribe and hit the bell for more notifications. My name's John and thank you for watching.